Well, today, leaders of Southwest Airlines are expected to lay out plans to boost profits at a meeting with investors. Dallas-based carrier announced some changes ahead of today's big meeting, and Dan Godwin joins us with an update. Dan? And Lauren, these are turbulent times for Southwest Airlines. Today, the company's leaders are set to explain how they plan to remodel the airline to keep up with changing consumer tastes. We already know the Dallas-based carrier plans to eliminate about one-third of its flights to Atlanta next year to save money. The move will cut more than 300 jobs for pilots and flight attendants who are based in Atlanta, although they will have a chance to relocate, according to the company. Southwest is coming under increasing pressure from a hedge fund called Elliott Investment Management to be more innovative, to reverse its shrinking profits and boost its slumping stock price. That hedge fund now owns more than 10% of Southwest shares, and it's the airline's second biggest shareholder. SMU economist Mike Davis says Southwest should be careful about introducing too much change. Southwest clearly needs to do things that are different. But one would hope, as a Dallas person, as a fan of Southwest, I would hope that they're really thoughtful and deliberate about it. We don't want them to be in this mode of just, you know, trying something for the sake of trying something. In a statement to Fox 4 News, the president of the union representing Southwest flight attendants said in part, Southwest Airlines management is failing employees while impacting customers. Management continues to make decisions that lack full transparency, sufficient communication with union leadership, and most alarmingly, a lack of focus on what made the airline great, the employees. At today's investor meeting, Southwest top executives are expected to give more details Details about the changes that are being planned, including dumping open seating for passengers, charging a premium for the best seats, and other new policies. That meeting set for 9.30 a.m. Dan Godwin on Good Day.